There are a few settings that you need or that you can adjust any time that you handle any reports. I'm going to show those to you now. Going into the reports. And there, it doesn't really matter which one of these you click on because the others are available along the top. Let me show you. So I clicked on test results, but there are all the other options. And all of them start with all of this information up at the top. So first, you can select the school year. And that's really important. A lot of times, uh, I, it defaults to whatever you had set last. And so some of you who went to a training had it set to 2014, 2015. Some of you still might. That might be the default. And once you change it, though, it should stay. You can also change the roster from current to year to date. Most of the time, you probably want this year and current. And then you can change the assessment. Again, check your year and your subject. If you have a tab, that makes it easier to find. And then click the drop-down menu to select which assessment you want and click Apply. Now, there are a number of pieces of information right here at the top. How many students took the test? How many items were there? Well, I guess you can read two. But this is really helpful for just a quick and quick view of what the test was like. Now you can test it. You don't have as many options here as I do. Um, you probably have your class period. And this only has one class period. But you can select uh, more than one if you want or just one. You can decide and then refresh. So if you want to look at just first hour or just fifth hour, that's how you could do that. You can also adjust the students that you can or can't see. So if you click on this filter students, maybe you only want to see a group that you created. And then you can click that. That's in other places I showed you how to select a group. Well, this shows you how um, this shows you one of the ways you can use that group. You can filter only by that one. Or you can select two or three groups if you'd like. You can also filter by grade if you have more than one grade that took the test. But here, if you click the more under the demographic selections, here's where you can start to see uh, some of the real fancy options. Uh, maybe you worry, have you been fair? Uh, are your native students doing as well as your other students? It's worth a check, so you could select only to see, only to see them. Uh, your special education students, you can limit it so you can only see the special education students. You could find out how they're doing in your class. Uh, are all of them doing very well, or are all of them struggling? You can see how that kind of data could be valuable. You can also limit them so that you can't see them for a one analysis or two analysis. You can always you, you turn them back on. But the reason you might want to do that is let's say that I have 20 students with IEPs in my class and the teacher next to me has two. And my scores are consistently lower than, than hers. So what I would do is I would make it so that these students don't show up in my report. And then I could see, you know, with them not being counted, is it really, are they really affecting the numbers that much? Or is it something else? Now, if they're really affecting the numbers that much, of course, I want to adjust and try to try to hit them. Not physically hit them, but hit their education harder. Now, also check it by gender. Are, are the males performing better than the females? And that's worth a look, too.